Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to discuss the pharmacology of antidepressants. Depression is a condition characterised by the presence of five of the following nine symptoms and affects almost a fifth of the entire UK population. The main hypothesis for the cause of depression is known as the monoamine hypothesis. Monoamines are a group of neurotransmitters characterised by their aromatic rings which are connected to an amine group by a chain of two carbons. The monoamine hypothesis suggests that depression is caused by insufficient quantities of monoamines in the synapses of the brain. For this reason, most currently used antidepressants work by combating this. These include SSRIs and SNRIs. Ordinarily, much of the monoamines in the synapse are reuptaken by presynaptic transporter proteins, reducing the amount which can activate postsynaptic monoamine receptors. Therefore, serotonin selective reuptake inhibitors such as fluoxetine block these transporter proteins maximising the amount of serotonin available in the synapse. Additionally, serotonin noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors such as venlafaxine block presynaptic transporter proteins for both serotonin and noradrenaline, having even more effect. Another class of antidepressants are the monoamine oxidase inhibitors, such as hydrazine. Monoamine oxidase is an enzyme which breaks down the monoamines such as serotonin and noradrenaline. Therefore, by inhibiting it, the concentrations of both increase. However, for most antidepressants, there is a delay in response of about three weeks, where symptoms can actually temporarily worsen. This is a result of the increased serotonin in the synapse. This acts on presynaptic serotonin receptors, causing less serotonin to be released in a negative feedback loop. After around three weeks, however, these receptors desensitize and serotonin release returns to normal. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.